The iPhone undoubtedly has one of the best camera systems in the world, not because it's the highest resolution or the most expensive camera out there, but because it puts a powerful system of cameras and tools in billions of pockets around the world. Quite often we say that the best camera out there is the one that you have on you and with the iPhone or any smartphone for that matter, being in reach of almost everyone on the planet, it's such a powerful storytelling tool. Arguably, the camera is the most important feature on any smartphone and it's one of the main reasons people pick the iPhone over the competition. Every year, Apple goes on stage to talk about their new iPhone. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Back when the iPhone was first released in 2007, Steve Jobs spoke about the camera for 10 whole seconds, or 0.2% of the entire iPhone presentation. Let's look at the back. On the back, the biggest thing of note is we got a 2 megapixel camera built right in. Nowadays, exploring the new camera technology in the latest iPhone takes up anything between 15 and 21 minutes of the iPhone presentation, which is over a third of the entire showcase of the iPhone. So you think that with all this talk about the camera and showing off what it can do during these keynotes, Apple would share every camera feature or capability possible. No. Of course not. Well today, I wanted to share with you an iPhone camera trick that Apple doesn't talk about, and for good reason. It's one that I love using myself for filmmaking and experiencing in cinema as well. To start off with, let's look at this cinema camera. Specifically, this is the Ari Alexa LF. It's manufactured and developed by Ari, a company known for producing some of the most loved cameras by cinematographers around the world, and it's used in productions like Dune, Mandalorian and Ford vs Ferrari. The LF in the name stands for large format because on the inside of the camera the sensor size is considered to be large format in size. It's massive and measures at 36.7 millimeters across and 25.54 millimeters vertically or at a resolution of 4,448 pixels by 3,096 pixels. In comparison, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, Apple's latest smartphone, has a physical sensor size of around about 7.67 millimeters by 5.75 millimeters, or 44 millimeters squared, which is obviously tiny when you compare it to the physical size of the Alexa LF. But despite the obvious camera sensor size difference and the fact that one camera is a Hollywood cinema camera and the other is, well, a phone. Both cameras have something very in common. They both can shoot in a mode called open gate. What is open gate? Rather than explain it, let me show it to you. Take a look at this example from Denis Villeneuve's Dune from 2021. The shot you see here is your standard movie widescreen aspect ratio, 235 to one or 235 pixels across for every 100 pixels vertically. Then the same frame, but expanded to 16 by nine this is your usual aspect ratio for full screen viewing on your TV or computer monitor without those black bars. And then we have open gate, or in Dune's case, beautiful original IMAX format at 143 to one, where you get a whole lot more picture top and bottom of the frame where the effect of scale is huge. And most importantly, the camera is capturing footage using the entire sensor and not just a portion of it. Another amazing example of this was Zack Snyder's Justice League, where the whole film was shot in open gate IMAX format and it's absolutely gorgeous. So what does this have to do with your iPhone? Well, take a look at this. When you record a video on your iPhone, no matter what resolution, whether it's 4K, 1080p, 720p, it doesn't matter. Compared to taking a photo, the video frame is always cropped in, and a lot. There are many reasons to this, but this has a lot to do with Apple's software stabilization techniques, Dolby Vision, and image processing, but you ultimately do lose a lot of frame when the camera punches in, compared to what the iPhone's full sensor is actually capable of. So what if, instead of cropping in, we could shoot video on iPhone with the entire sensor going beyond 4K and shooting video using the full sensor of the iPhone? Well, you can. And here's what it looks like right now.
As you can see, when putting the different formats side by side, there's a huge difference. Not only do you get even more width of the frame, but you get a whole lot more height too. At 4K, the latest iPhones typically record at 3840 by 2160. But the open gate full sensor video footage you see here is a massive 4032 by 3024 pixels. That's almost 4.5K or an extra 3.9 million more pixels. When we put the open gate iPhone footage on the screen by itself, we can appreciate the scale of the frame that comes out. But putting these borders up for reference to compare what the standard footage looks like coming out of the iPhone's video app really showcases the difference and what you're missing out on. So you're probably wondering, how exactly did I do this? Well, there are a few applications out there that can achieve this, but my favorite one so far is this app called Mavis Pro. This is the interface, it's really manual, so perfect for a filmmaker that likes to get in and change all settings from focus to exposure control, ISO, and everything in between. You go into the settings in the top left hand corner, and right there, you want your recording format to be at 24 frames per second, because, well, 24 frames per second is greater than 30 FPS if you want it to be cinematic. I know, controversial, but still. 100 megabits per second for highest quality and the most important setting, 4K at 4x3, which is open gate using the whole iPhone sensor. And that's it. Now you're shooting at full 133 to 1, replicating what you see in true IMAX theaters. Now, of course, there is a reason why Apple doesn't talk about this. And the main reason is you lose a lot of key features that make recording good video on iPhone so easy and so great. A big feature is image stabilization, both hardware and software stabilization, but that's easily solved by using an external mobile gimbal. In this little video here, you can see that I'm using a tripod or a big mobile phone grip that really helps when you want to stabilize footage when you're filming something that doesn't have that hardware stabilization built in. Another drawback though, is that you do lose the maximum dynamic range of HDR4 and Dolby Vision. This is not ideal, especially if you want to showcase your content on a HDR display, and it doesn't stop there. Also, an array of post-processing magic that Apple does with this video is also gone, which also includes dual pixel autofocus too. But to me, as someone that loves making movies manually and appreciates the cinematography craft, I don't mind missing these features as it gets me more involved with using the iPhone as a cinema-like camera, and most importantly, it enables filmmakers to shoot in this beautiful IMAX light format with their phone, which I think is just downright breathtaking, and it can be used to make some seriously stunning imagery straight from your iPhone in your pocket. Now, not many people prefer this square-like aspect ratio over widescreen, but that's totally fine. I think it's absolutely awesome, and I really wish we saw more movies like it. I've included some information on research I undertook in the description below that went towards making this video, including an amazing video from KT Cloudy, a truly awesome guy, where I was first introduced to this idea. He made an amazing in-depth video where he created his very own app that took advantage of the open gate capabilities of the iPhone using Swift and Xcode. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I love making it. If you have any questions about open gate on the iPhone, please let me know in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear what you think. If you have some spare time, head over to my channel and watch my Dune inspired short film and some other videos. My name is Kirk, have a wonderful week ahead. Stay safe and of course, do take care.